Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Adelina. Today we're going to make a roasted potato dish that I love. It's a lemon and za'atar roasted potato. Um, and the za'atar seasoning, I hope I'm saying that right, if you are of Middle Eastern descent, I very much apologize for mispronouncing this. But this is, this is an incredible, an incredible ingredient. Um, the first time I smelled this, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's a combination of a sesame seed, thyme, sumac, lemon peel, uh, oregano, basil, savory, marjoram, and sea salt, um, and sesame seed. Did I say sesame seed? It's delicious if you brush olive oil on a naan and then sprinkle this on and put it in your oven for the naan to get nice and warm and chewy. Um, but great, great ingredient and an awesome ingredient for this recipe. It's kind of a take on um, lemon roasted, Greek lemon roasted potatoes. That's what we're gonna make. It's super easy, super delicious, and let me show you how to do it. Here's what we need for our lemon and za'atar roasted potatoes. I'm gonna use these yellow mini ones, that way I don't have to peel them. I like to leave the skin on my potatoes. It adds extra fiber. Um, but I will slice these in half so that there's extra surface to get nice and crispy because that's what we want. And then we want some oil uh, for tossing the potatoes to roast them. I'm going to use this olive oil. Lemon juice. Now, I thought I had a lemon, but I cannot find it. So I'm going to use this, but fresh lemon juice is preferred. And then here is the za'atar seasoning. I got mine at the Silk Road Spice Merchant here in Calgary. You can order it online. You can find it in uh, stores in the ethnic food sections usually. If you don't have that or you don't like it, just use Italian seasoning. I am going to add also a little bit of this Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning. And then we need some broth. I think beef broth works better in this recipe because it um, has a bit of a stronger flavor. Obviously I'm using an all vegetable beef bouillon. Um, so we're going to use one cube of that, which I think would be about one teaspoon if you had it in a jar. I have my oven preheating to 375. The first thing we're going to do is chop up our potatoes. Now, if you're going to use larger potatoes, uh, then just chop them into quarters, whatever works for you. I like to have halve mine, even if they're small, just because it gives, like I say, more surface to get nice and roasty and toasty. So I'm just going to do these. Uh, the nice thing about buying them in this bag is that they are pre-washed and ready to go. Right, so I've got all my potatoes sliced. Now this is not a recipe that will work well if you are oil free because you do need oil for this recipe otherwise the potatoes just will not get nice and uh, crispy. So I'm not going to tell you how much oil to put on. I'm going to leave that up to you to decide. But you want the potatoes all coated. Might be a couple tablespoons, might be a bit more. Um, I just drizzle it on and toss until I've got them all coated. Probably a couple tablespoons is enough. Don't think you need more than that. And that's probably what I just put on is a couple tablespoons. But just make sure they're all coated. So the first spice is this za'atar seasoning. I'm going to put two tablespoons of this in there. You can start with one and see how you like it. I kind of like mine with a lot. So I do two. And then just a sprinkle, maybe half a teaspoon or so, of the garlic and herb. Again, if you don't have the za'atar, you don't like the za'atar, just use Italian seasoning. One to two tablespoons. And then give this a good toss. I've got the oven set at 375. Alright, so let's get this roasted. Okay, it has been actually 30 minutes. I tested them and tossed them after 20 minutes. I'm going to pull them out and we're going to add the broth. I've got one cube of the bouillon, um, which would probably be about one teaspoon if you're using like the powdered, um, in half a cup of water. Now, that will mean that this is saltier, but 
I haven't added any salt and I'm not going to until the very end. The za'atar seasoning has a little bit of salt in it. This has some salt in it um, and I'm going to sort of allow this to add the saltiness and the flavor. So let's pour this over. And then give it another toss. And I'm going to put this back in the oven for about a half hour. And I'm going to turn the oven up to 400 degrees. So I'll see you back here in another half hour. All right, so the second roast is done and I'm going to pull them out and we're going to add the lemon juice. I have switched to a bigger pan. You will need um, a roasting pan that has that has some depth to it because we are adding the broth and now the lemon juice. So I have two tablespoons of lemon juice. Fresh is preferred. Like I said earlier, I can't find the lemon that I swear that I bought for this recipe. So we're just using the bottled stuff. But drizzle that on and then give it a good toss to make sure all of the potatoes have that. And then we're just going to roast this until the liquid is absorbed. Could be 15 minutes, could be 20, 25. Just keep checking it and tossing um, until the liquid is absorbed and the potatoes are nice and crispy. Depending on your uh, oven, it will determine how long it takes. But this is a fantastic recipe for summertime to make uh, on a barbecue. Um, you could probably make it on a campfire too if you had uh, uh, the right pot, you, but it also works in the oven. So let's get that back in there. And don't forget that I increased the temperature to 400 degrees um, and we're just gonna let it roast and then I'll see you back here when it's all done. So the potatoes are done. They probably roast in another 35 minutes. It will vary based on your oven and whether or not you're doing it on the barbecue because again this is a great recipe for cooking on your barbecue so let's pull these out <laughs> can you hear that that sounds awesome they are crispy and very flavorful now i have not salted these um, and until i taste them i'm not going to because I think that that broth had a fair amount of salt. Let's give these a taste. Yes, I'm probably going to burn myself again. They're too good to wait. And I always have to learn the hard way. Mm. Oh my gosh. Whoops. Got one that's going rogue. These are delicious. You can really taste that lemon but it's not super overpowering or anything like that that the za'atar seasoning is incredible <clears throat> and they actually don't need any additional salt that broth was enough you don't have to use the za'atar seasoning for this but if you want to sort of step out of your usual spice zone um, i really recommend you picking some up it's delicious it's amazing like i say on pita bread if you just brush it with a little olive oil sprinkle that on put it in your oven it's fantastic on roasted veggies hope you guys are doing well oh there's sophie there's sophie cat <laughs> she just wanted to say hi hi kitty want some potatoes no she doesn't Okay, guys, I'm going to get back to work, but I just wanted to share this recipe with you. Hope you're doing well. I hope your Wednesday's fantastic, and I will talk to you next week.